A lot of the employees at Dutch Brothers didn't know Whitney Heichel, but the owner has a personal reason for wanting to help Whitney's family after their tragic loss. Whitney's sister uh, works for me at one of my locations, and several of her family members have worked for me in the past. We just wanted to come together and show her a little bit of love and support from the community uh, in the face of this really unspeakable tragedy. So all day Monday, half of all sales here will go to Whitney's family. She's someone that we see as our mom, our sister, our daughter, our friend, and it just touched us very deeply, I think. Meanwhile, the candles still burn, the flowers still fresh, and the memorial grows outside the Gresham Starbucks where Whitney Heichel worked. It's where her friends and family gathered for a vigil in her memory Saturday night. It was wonderful. People came, it poured down rain, nobody left. Diane Jolin was there Saturday night and came back on Sunday, money in hand. The Starbucks is taking donations to help the Heiko family, and employees who worked with Whitney, who was a barista, are donating their tips as well. I wanted to do something, and I know the family would appreciate it, and there's a lot to do during a time like this in a family, and it's nice to know people care. The man accused of murdering Whitney, Jonathan Holt, a neighbor and acquaintance, awaits a Monday court appearance on aggravated murder charges. But there's time for justice. Now is the time for a family to grieve and a community to rally behind them.